power. You can't stop No one can stop me. No one can stop me. No one. Dame Diddy. Ambitious Ace. Bang, bang, boomerang. So, all the predictions we've made from the beginning of the season are our most solid predictions seem to have come and came true. No, they have. Yes. Yes. I recall mentioning it's going to turn that. into Own that. a who shot ghosts, and this is exactly where we're at. Yeah. I wish my wife was on the podcast right now because she could tell you as soon as the episode started. <laughs> I said, that's exactly where we're going with this episode. It was clear. It was evident. Oh, yeah, it was obvious. Right from the beginning. Yeah. I, sh- I should not know that. Courtney is still a genius, but that just makes me a genius as well for figuring out the puzzle. Okay. With that said, before you guys click away, let me no, <laughs> go, go ahead. The story is about ghosts, so we might as well just follow ghost well, story. Before that, let me propose a question: If it's any of y'all think ghosts was gonna survive this episode, if so, leave me a comment and let no. me know. I want to know: Did y'all really think ghosts was gonna survive this? Oh, let me let me stop. It said, "Who shot?" Ghost? Yeah, I'm about to say. Okay. You got it messed up out here. Let me know if you didn't think Ghost wasn't going to get shot. Because I knew it was going to get attempted. So, Ghost. Mm-hmm. Disrespecting everybody. Everything. Yeah, every so. Yo, that was the highlight of this episode yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so all right, all right let, let, let's get the, the, the petty stuff out of the way. Sax. Man, that guy is annoying as hell. <laughs> I, I really was wishing that he would have blew his own brains out, but I knew he wasn't going to do it. Nah. <sighs> Can't go out like that. Nah, and and then it really uh, made me mad that the um I can't remember his old boss's name. That's yeah. a lawyer now. Came there to defend him. Yeah, I was just like, what are you doing? You, w- Sax is the reason you got fired. And she's trying to get back at her job. You know, in a way, that's that was satisfying for her. Whatever, man. I'm 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 so glad that uh their boss is actually really smart. Yeah. Um, Blanca, yeah. rem- like he put the whole Sax thing together like, like that quickly. Yeah, it, it broke it down like it was nothing, man. Called, simple, uh, yeah. simple molecules. He was just and like he called Blanca out too. He was like, "You let him play you. You didn't yeah. get played." Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So that that was really dope. I really appreciated that. So with that being said, man, Ghost playing everybody, man. How did you feel about the way Ghost played Tommy? I mean, did he play Tommy? Yes, he told Tommy like, "Yo." You lost. He's like, I ain't got nothing. You, you get the. I, I oh, get nothing. Yeah. You chose this nothing. Yeah, oh, yeah, he, he did. He <laughs> did. He kind of like, yeah. He did that hard. You chose this nothing. I was just like, God, did, like. Yeah, man. Mm, mm, mm. It just kicked Tommy <laughs> while he was down. Yeah, and like Tommy was very. He was very, like distraught. Yeah. Like I just felt his eyes watering the whole time during that conversation. But yeah, he he got on Tommy pretty hard. Yeah, Tommy was hurt, man. You you can see it. Like, yeah. you know, it's like you saw them kind of getting back together. But Ghost is like, I'm out. I'm done. You know, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kept saying that throughout the whole episode. And that's that should have gave you the first indication that he was not going to make it out of this joint. <laughs> but he was like that the whole episode, though. Man, like, I'm out. I'm, I'm out. legit. <laughs> I'm legit now, you know? Nobody can stop me. Like... So while we're talking oh about this God. incident, we don't know, and you guys can write in the comments because you yes. guys are pretty clever. Yeah, let us. Who do you guys think shot at Tommy and Ghost or sent those hitters to hit shoot at Tommy and Ghost? Because there was no explanation for why that anybody would shoot at them while they were meeting there. Who even knew they were meeting there? That made no sense. Like the bullet came out of nowhere. Then you, I think they only found one of the shooters. So yeah, because I thought it was, said it was two. two. Yeah, right? it was two. Yeah, of them, right. So and then what? Tommy just kind of ran away or something? No, he just yeah. disappeared. Like, yeah, I was didn't make any sense to me. We saw a mystery person kind of following Ghost the whole episode. Right. Yeah. And we didn't get to know who that mystery person was. Yeah, I, I still don't think it was. I I don't know. It maybe it could be that guy sent Congressman Tate hired to follow around follow around after could Ghost. Be. Yeah. Could uh, be. Because Tate was trying to tell Ghost something. But Courtney did. Oh, I, I I know what he was trying to tell him. He was trying to get Ghost to panic and go snitch yourself out or kill somebody, like how go how Blanca had did, how Sax had uh, did. Like you leaked the information. Yeah, yeah. He'll, f- he'll try to go fix something that actually didn't even need to be fixed. Right, right. But I think what happened was when Ghost straight disrespected Tate, like nigga, I took your dream. Oh, the reason why people like me win and people like you lose because you you a real good damn loser. <laughs> I'm talking about like 
and the he, sourness in Lorenz Tate's faces <laughs> and, and, and Councilman Tate, Lorenz Tate, <laughs> whatever you want to call stop. it. And the thing is, like, he came back every time Tate tried, da, 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 and you know what? You don't. Like, you know, <laughs> he didn't He's been stop. holding that in the whole episode. And another yes. thing, yeah. And it was, was just a relentless attack. And I'm like, man, ghost. So, so Tate went from, like, you know what? I don't even want him to snitch on us. I'm going to kill that motherfucker. <laughs> I can see that. At first, I didn't realize. I'm like, why would Congressman Tate want to pull a gun out? But yeah, after that, I took your man, dream. Took I life, took your man. dream. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, yeah." And what do you want to do? Go back to being a police officer? You might got to catch. A you was a, for you that. was a good yeah. damn police officer. I'm like, God, <laughs> man. man. Like I'm talking about. You just he destroyed his whole life. He belittled him in yeah. his face. Just took, like you ain't shit. Took his girl. Took his whole political <laughs> career. Well, he didn't take his girl, but he took he the took girl he wanted. Potential. He, potential. He, took, he took the girl he wanted. <laughs> he wanted. Yeah. yeah, that that was that was disrespectful. So, Ghost disrespecting Tasha. Oh, uh, I twice. release you twice. I release. Not you. not only did he res- disrespect her at Raina's damn grave, he yeah. disrespected her at their damn apartment too. That too. But let's go back to the grave. He hit her with the double win. Hold on, go back to the grave. <laughs> I release you from this marriage. Yeah, so I know that was cold. That was, Did y'all hear those words? It was just like, bro, who you think you are? <laughs> like, I, I was even like, who do you think you are? I'm, I'm pretty sure all the women watching I'm were Jamie like St. Patrick. That's who I am. I didn't, I didn't know the St. word Patrick. release can hurt so much. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a sleeper word right there. Yeah, apparently, I release you. Ooh. Yeah, like. <laughs> It really was that. It was just like, I release you. Yeah. I release you. Yeah, like it was like the, the last like witch on Aladdin, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? Jeannie, I release you. I release you. <laughs> I mean, mm. damn. Like, that was cold. Oh, it was straight cold blooded, man. I was just like, yeah. man, I, I was mean, so it, but angry even for before her. before that, yeah. he was like, what are you doing here? Psh, I'm here every week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm the one that changes the flowers, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yo, real, real talk, if y'all didn't know, how selfish Ghost was, Man. you got to see it this episode. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, you see it. And I think it's crazy how Ghost didn't see it himself, like how no. selfish he was, like especially when he's talking to uh, Tariq. Yeah. Like that that got me, man. It's just like, huh? he got to he gotta own up for his mistakes. He got to live what he's dealing with. Bro, you trying to do this for you. But at the same time, it did make sense because if he's if he's in a position of power, he can True. he can get that stuff it to go away. Look at look at Joe Biden. I mean, it, still though, I mean, real people do it in real life. Ghost look, got at, like, look at Donald Trump. But Ghost got thirty bodies. <laughs> no, Ghost got like sixty. You know? <laughs> whatever you got, you know well, like like Kane yeah. said, whatever they say that nigga did, yeah. he did that shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did that shit. However Tariq. many people they say that nigga killed, he Bro, killed that shit. Tariq catch one body, he's like, you know what? You might want to turn yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that's fucked up. What? What? You got like, like eighty dad, bodies. Dad, you killed somebody this morning. What are you talking about? <laughs> I did, but when you look at it that way, <laughs> it's so fucked up. He's just like, man, like, you know? for real. How you gonna come at me like that, ghost? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Ser- seriously speaking, though, that that whole the the that one was bad. But I I I don't know. I think the worst two were Congressman Tate. And then Dre. Oh man, when he got yeah, on Dre, Dre. Ooh. oh, that was crazy, y'all. He got yeah. on Dre. Yeah, he called him a little bitch. <laughs> he did. Bro. <laughs> I was like, all right, Big Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he he was just he was pulling everything out. Oh, oh man, and the look on Dre's face—he had the I ain't like, no bitch eyes. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he really did. He really did. <laughs> And he had he had the same eyes when the cops rolled up on him. Yeah, man. Yep. Ghost is watching from the car like, yo, who? You, like when Ghost was watching from the car, like, bro, who do you think you are? <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? It just reminded me of damn uh, um, Shaft when Peoples was in the car and he sent the people to kill him. He just Listen, he was in the car and if, just pointed. If this was <laughs> that's truly, pretty much what Ghost did. If this was truly Ghost's last episode, no, it's not. I'm just he saying. was shot. So if you know it was, was not his last. Oh, bro, if, you know it wasn't. If, he's, he's no, there ain't no if. if. You know it's not. But I'm just saying, he he went out like a G. Yeah. On his episode, Please. going out. I'm just saying. No, Ish. man. I'm no. legit. No. I'm legit. Y'all can't stop me. You a bitch. But they stopped him. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say you can't stop me knowing you about to get stopped. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the highlight for the episode, man. Ghost yeah. was just relentless this episode. I ain't, I ain't like Ghost this much in a while. For real. So, the, know, weakest, so the weakest person that he kind of attacked was Paz. Because yeah. he technically yeah. didn't really attack her. Yeah. He just refused to tell her yeah. who killed 
her yeah. sister. Right, right. Which is fair. Like you can't. I thought he was going to. Yeah, I, I thought really he was going to tell her it was Tommy. Really but it's not going to fix anything. I mean, She's I, not going to run up on, to- on exactly, Tommy. Exactly. And I yeah. think that's what he was trying to stop. Like, you, you're not going to do nothing against Tommy. Tommy's crazy, and I don't want Tommy to kill you. So I think he did that for her. Yeah. Not just, I don't want to tell her, but. If I tell you it was Tommy and you try to run up on Tommy, you go die. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, in the instance, he was he was protecting her. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. So, uh, how happy were you guys to see Kane and uh, Raina, Raina, and Angela? Um, it was a welcome surprise. I want to yeah. say because you know, I think I commented early in the season that I didn't really like the ghost of Angela. I don't know. I think I said that, but. I like how they did the ghosts of Raina and yeah. Kanan because of the situations they happened in. Raina was right after the argument between Ghost and Tasha, so it felt fitting, fitting and it was in her room, so it was appropriate. Mm-hmm. And it kind of checked Ghost in a sense because she was just like, you told us how to lie. Yeah. And I thought that was very pivotal to the, to the story, the series as a whole and everything like that. And with Kanan showing up to him, it was another pivotal scene because once again, it's telling ghosts who he really is. Like you can't, even though you've become this person now, you can't ever get away from that person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I like to, and ghost made a point too. Like he said to Hakan and like, you made me this way. I would have still got here. It just took me a longer time to get this, to get here, which I was like, okay, I can understand that. Cause it seemed like ghost had always this kind of, Ambition. Yeah, yeah, this ambition about him, but he was just always involved with the wrong people. So I thought the ghost scenes with ghosts uh, actually made a lot of uh, a lot of pivotal points here, and I really liked it. Yeah, it gave more clarity, you know, for him. It feels like it was kind of like summing everything up. Yeah. You know, you had some of the biggest players that impacted his life, his daughter, his, uh, his mistress, and, uh, you know, his homeboy, you know, or I guess the person that taught him the game. Yeah. And all these guys coming back and just kind of – you know, kind of closing out the, the chapter of Ghost. How did y'all feel about the inclusion? Yeah, I, you ain't even let me get my oh, shit off. Okay. Right? You see that, right? I, I, what he just, just, what he just said, I just reminded me of something. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now, I just wanted to say, I thought um, Angela's acting in this episode was really good. I actually yeah. enjoyed Angela's really Ghost on this episode. I was real happy to see Raina. I, I was really happy to see Raina because I was just like, man. Like, the way she went out, man, that hurt my heart. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was yeah. a tough episode to watch. Yeah. And Kanan, I was happy to see Kanan. I was, too. Yeah. Just because he should have never died to begin with. Yeah. Should have yeah. been Tariq's old punk ass. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. What, what, what was your question? Well, how did y'all feel about the inclusion of his uncle in the episode? That was they, a good uh, scene. Well, she said that's not his real uncle. Well, I'm just saying. He That's called, like he her dad's friend. I get it, but yeah. still. I, 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 what, what do you mean? I mean, how did y'all, because I felt like that gave us some backstory on Ghost that we really didn't know yeah. about. And I thought that was kind of cool. It was a little bit more clarity on why he probably got into selling drugs, yeah. but why he was a little bit smarter about the way he went about it. Yeah. That, that's all it did for me. It was cool. I mean, it was cool. I enjoyed it because it gave me another layer of Ghost that I didn't know that was there. I right. mean, when you look at it, it's not really surprising revelation or nothing. But I just thought it was just a nice extra touch to who Ghost was always trying to be. Right. But unfortunately, he, you know, made some decisions along the way that he, he regrets now or whatever like that. But I thought it was a good look back to Ghost as a character, you know, before all what he come to be. And it sounds like uh, Ghost's dad was a, a ghost as well, you know, who was a drug dealer who had, had a bar or a club, you know, so he probably had his, his own history. It sounded like he snitched. Yeah, and then and they, he and they got yeah, he got killed. That's what oh, it wow. sounded like. It sounded like he got he snitched and he got killed. Yeah, because he said I told him not to tell him anything or something like that. Mm. Even though Ghost been snitching lately, but we ain't gonna say nothing. About that. <laughs> we don't we don't act like he ain't been snitching. He snitched on his he snitched on his wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, um, predictions: Who shot Ghost? Tariq. I mean, come on now, it's it's Tariq. We've been saying it. Yeah. It's going to happen. I mean, I like the way they set up the whole who shot Ghost angle and everything yeah, like that. Is. But why do you think it was three? Um, because. Where, where's, your, where's your evidence? Well, I have. The evidence I have is one, when he proposed the idea that Tariq should confess, he was really heartbroken by that. He wasn't yeah. just mad because he's telling you you should confess, but he said, you promised. You promised that you was going to take the fall from me and everything like that. That was sign number one. 
Sign number two to me was when he came to the club, and he was like, "So you really want me to confess?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'm here with you, all, with you all here with you, and everything like that." Yeah. And when he gave him that look, that was just kind of like the look, like, "Okay, you really serious about this? You really not go take the fall from me, like yeah. you said you was." So with those two scenes right there, that let me alone that he killed him. Plus, Tariq was already in the he club. He didn't kill him. I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to say that <laughs> because, you know, I don't want the whole who shot you thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. But that's the one um, he was in the club closing up. Tariq, we never really see officially leave the club on camera. Right. So that's why I believe Tariq is the one who shot Ghost. And, um, I mean, it could be Tate. Uh, that's my second runner up. Mm. But other than that, I don't think Sax is going to get there. I don't think no. Dre got there in enough time. I don't think it was Tasha. And I sure as hell don't think it was Pops. Yeah. Uh, Tommy? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Not. No, not Tommy either. That's too easy for Tommy. Yeah, I think it was Spook. I mean, it, it makes sense to me. Somebody in the comments was like, yeah. who the hell is Spook? Oh, yeah. Clarify. <laughs> if you guys don't know who Spook is, it's Tariq. Yes. Baby Ghost. <laughs> but I, I think it was him. I mean... I feel like it was being foreshadowed a little bit when um, when he was talking about, you know, uh, his bodies or Ghost was talking about his bodies saying, look, they stepped in front of my my goals and I had to take them out. Mm. So, you know, Tariq kind of nodded his head like, mm, he's, yeah, that's a good point. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah, that 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 to me is mm. the best evidence for Tariq actually doing it, because he said, I gave him one last chance. So yes. you can argue yeah. Tariq gave Ghost one last chance by showing up to the club, yes. right? Yes. To change his mind. And still didn't do it. And he, he's like, look, I know. Because there's no way Tariq is going to just turn himself in. These guys tried everything to get him out the I street. mean, that's not a likely scenario. After everything we saw Tariq do this whole season and last season, yeah. he's not just going to be like, I confess. No. No. That's not it. And then after this, after he shoots Ghost, I think this is going to pretty much cement him as being a – you know, being that guy. And we got to remember the theme of this scene, scene uh, series, I'm sorry, is the final portrayal. And yeah. we've all been showed up to be like it's going to be Tommy and Ghost, but what if it's Tariq and Ghost? Mm. The pot final portrayal is your own family member, your own blood, your own son. I think that would sting harder than just Tommy and Ghost. Yeah, we know that's not happening. So I... I'm on record multiple times saying that I think that Tariq was going to kill Ghost and Tommy at different times throughout this whole season. So since you guys both said Spook, and I will say Spook definitely has the most evidence that you can point to to say why he did it, I'm going to just say, just so I can be different, I'm going to say it was Congressman Tate. No way. And the only reason I say it was Congressman Tate is because the level of disrespect <laughs> Ghost showed him <laughs> – I'm just saying, like, I don't know, like, because Ghost kept getting ready to walk away and would turn around like, oh, and another thing, nigga. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like, I'm talking about, I was just like. The the level of intensity Ghost was on this episode, he wanted to make sure he bro, aired out his he, shit to but everybody. He, don't get me wrong. He belittled everybody. <laughs> but look at the way he fucking, he fucking castrated. Yeah. Oh, it was bad. Senator, um, Tate. It was bad. He cut his nuts off oh, yeah. and, and shoved them back in his pockets yes. and told him to come back and celebrate his victory. He said you wouldn't want to not be seen by everybody and all that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't want to be ended up back down being a police officer. Like, mm. the, <sighs> the level of disrespect I felt Tate's facial expressions. Oh, yeah. Because, like, it went from, I was trying to set you up to do something stupid to, nigga, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's where all of the disrespect led. It, it made a yeah. full twist, 100% yeah. full twist. Uh, I don't really have any evidence to back that up, but Tate has hit rock bottom. Yeah. Sax did too, Sa but I'm nobody believed Sax. Oh, okay. do you Paz, no. I would think Tommy, Sax. Tommy wouldn't do ghosts like that. So Not like that. And I don't even think Tommy was headed to truth. They, yeah. they, 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 I, they I don't think Tasha was headed to truth. They right. made it look that way. Yeah. But I don't feel like they were. And then not only that, uh, for as much as I do feel like Tariq is the, pi the pick just because he's the only one they didn't show strapped up, if I can remember correctly, it looked like he was walking away from something the whole time everybody was walking to something. 
the club. Mm-hmm. But he hadn't been shot yet when they showed him but walking still, away. But still, that's the illusion. You know, yeah. you can mess around with scenes anytime. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, that's why it would seem like he would be the obvious because it made it look like he was the least suspected one. Least Everybody else, they showed him pull a gun out. Like, he's learned from the best, yeah. Ghost. I know. That's, that, so that's that, why he's walking out like that. Nah, you know, I'm telling nah, you. Come nah, on, they're, they're, uh, they're grooming Spook to be ghost. I'm not, and, and the only other thing is, the only thing that uh, makes me feel like it can't be Tate, though, is going off of Courtney's logic. You can't be killed by somebody that's not on your level. And the only person that's technically on Ghost's level is Tommy. Yeah. Well, I, I think we have evidence of three people that was actually at the scene. Well, there's only three people I think could have did it, period. Uh, Tariq, Tate. And Drake. Sacks. But no, I don't think it could have <laughs> no, been Sax. I think it I think it could definitely be no, Drake. Look at yeah, the evidence Drake. though. On the scene, we know that Tariq was at the club. Right. We know that Sax was there because he was right outside. And we know that Blanco was coming up from behind. Yeah, so she those was three people the back. are there yeah. for real. Tommy, like you said, is very questionable. Tashina is ca- uh, questionable and Paz. So Didn't they show Paz looking at it across the street? I know they. No, sh- you're right. They, she they came sh- from the other side. Yeah. So, that's so we four saw people. her walk in one direction, so we, yeah. and Cooper was coming from the, the other, other direction. direction. So yeah. it's four people, most definitely. But I don't think do I don't think sh- I think she was just gonna bring a gun just to try to get him to tell her who did it. But he's she yeah, wasn't. She was most definitely, yeah, yeah. But Cooper Cooper might have did it if he got the opportunity, but he's now, a punk. He's a pussy. Do you think yeah. we're gonna get one of those scenarios where it's like it, we're gonna slowly unravel the scene of the night? Yeah. And everybody's going to be like, oh, Paz walked in there at the moment he got shot and saw him fall down. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Cooper nah, Sacks I don't think we're going to get an like, oh, episode of Clue on I feel, on I feel like or they're going to do that. I feel <laughs> I like mean, they're going to do that, man. I mean, look. They're going to break it down scene It was by done scene. in the red room <laughs> with the, the candlestick. <laughs> with the candlestick. <laughs> you know, nah, I don't know if we, I don't think we're getting that. <laughs> I, I'm not you saying it would know. be a bad oh, episode, man. but they it might do be. it. I don't think because they gonna think question everybody who because ghost seen. ghost gonna wake up in the bed and they gonna ask him who did it. Yeah, and he gonna do the ghost thing. I ain't see who did it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know everybody be looking like nigga. You know who did it? Stop playing. Who? And we gotta think about that too. His look while he was doing the he dram- looked he looked hurt. Dramatic fall. And he looked hurt. <laughs> But yeah, he looked hurt. Like he looked like he, he looks was hurt. hurt. Like so that's oh why it God. looks like it points to ta- uh, to to Tariq. Yeah. yeah. But but like I said, the only people that I think it's even possible of doing this is is Tate, Dre, and and Tariq. Yeah. Because the level of dis- disrespect that went towards Dre, and, and and Dre has needed a big kill for a while now. His biggest kill was Julio, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's just like I respect Julio, but. There's already rumors going around that Dre's going to be in Tariq's show. Yeah. So mm. he needs a reason to probably get locked up and get out or something like that. Well, yeah. I just want to say shout out to the directors and the, the oh, people yeah, this episode great. because mm-hmm. I felt like this episode was shot really well, especially with the scene of who shot Ghost. Like, you think about the build up to the scene, he, he, the whole build up of the episode really just, he's got to this point of where he's legit. And, you know, he's in the club that he's so successful with. And just the fact that he got shot in his own club, I think well, is it made really sense, crazy. Though. Yeah. I, it, I like that. It made sense, though, because he had to get shot standing up on the balcony because when we first see Ghost, that's that, the first exactly, place we see him. Yeah. Exactly. The whole thing with him running down to see Gibb Ramona is the same thing he did it when was he seen Angela. Angela. Yes. So yes, it's like I everything. All that. Yeah. yeah, like you know, him kind of going towards the back. You got to remember, he went there to kill homegirl's boyfriend yes. in the yes. first episode. Yeah. So I, yes. it was just like a, a lot, lot of, of callbacks. dope callbacks to the first episode. It was kind of like really gratifying for people that have been watching Power from the Jump. Yeah, yeah. I think we need yeah. to add a poll in this this episode. Who did Ghost disrespect the most? Yeah, oh. with well, his with his definitely. talking down. Who did too. he disrespect the most? It was definitely Tate, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> that mustache was moving. That little skinny mustache, man. No, them eyes, man. Because them the eyes. Yeah, his, his eyes. They was like, I'm going. I want to cry, but I'm he too was, tough. I'm not go cry. Oh you know, man, that's the, that's the vibe I got. I'm telling. We we gotta watch that again because I I don't know if y'all because you missed it because so, yeah. you was probably like you said you was oh, probably laughing. All laughing. <laughs> you you gotta you gotta really listen because I know I was just like damn damn God, damn that, what nigga you took his dream like it, oh that hurt. Like, I didn't even want this. Like he, he and shout out to Omari Hardaway because he, he was he was playing that, that, all these scenes in here, man. Courtney said he, he shot it. for twelve days for that one episode. Really? Because he had to be in every scene. Man, man, that's yeah. that's what's up. 
So and he couldn't be there for that episode because he was filming something else. Okay. So, mm. but yeah, shout out to Mari Hark, man. Shout that out. dude is nothing like that in real life. Yeah, he is a he is a respectful, nice, Tommy too. Dude. Tommy too. Oh, yeah. especially Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just of course he's something else, man. I don't know how he pulls this Tommy off. He just acts all civilized and normal. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's gonna be a long two months. Yes. At least there's Black Friday or something to hold us up in between where you can go spend some money on some shit. <laughs> I mean. What else are you going to do? There's nothing else on TV that you can yeah, watch that's that really. good. Yeah. Nope. But, yeah, man, thank you guys for sticking with us all this time. Five yeah. more episodes left. We'll be back when yeah. they're back. We'll be back. Yes. And, uh, man, you know where to find us, man, at TRC Podcast on Instagram. Ambitious Image. Welcome to the Wall Podcast. Twitter at TRC Podcast Live. Ambitious Things. WTTW Podcast. Go over to Welcome to the Wall Podcast YouTube channel, man. Check out their content, interviews, uh, streams, everything they got going on over there, man. Some other stuff coming, too. Uh, you know, check us out. Uh, my Voice with Darren Friends. Go check her out as well. And uh, we'll be back. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.